Hi, y'all. This is Maddie back with you again. Today, I'll be making y'all some chick tender chicken strips. And I'll also be making y'all some homemade french fries uh, potatoes. And what I'll be using in it for my, uh, to, uh, for my chicken strips, I'll be using some honey. I'll be using some uh, seasoned Pranko, salt, pepper, uh, cayenne pepper. This is some uh, cayenne pepper. I'll be leaving some lemon juice, some melted butter, and uh, here's the potatoes. I'll be using some golden potatoes. These, that's what I chose to use. And I'll get back with you all. Yeah, when I went to the store, I got that one. When I chose my chicken for my tenders, I got the one that said chicken tenders. And some of them I had to cut a little bit. Some of them bigger than the other. And I cut them in two. I cut most of them because they were this size here. But I cut them in two. And I cleaned them. And I, and I uh, pat them dry. And I'm getting ready to season them. And my potatoes, I use, uh, like I said, golden potatoes. And I cut them up to sizes that I like or you like. You can cut them big or small. I chose to cut mine medium. And that's what I'll be using. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm getting ready to season my chicken. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm put out, only thing I'll be putting on my chicken in the beginning, I'm going to let them rest in the refrigerator for them. Um, they rest outside. When you're cooking chicken, they should, they be, it should be room temperature. So they already became room temperature. And now I'm going to take and sprinkle them with some pepper. We're going all the way around it. And pepper. Don't overpower this because you really want this to taste. Mine's to be a little, kind of like a little gourmet. Um, I always use that word. That's what I, when I cook them different, um, putting some salt on it now. Like I said, go around it. I wash these, I wash these uh, salt shakers and so they might not be that dry. So, oh boy, I got to rinse that off. I don't want to use that. That's what happened. I had, I had uh, taken them. Let's see, I think I have short steak. I'll use my short slick shaker. I had cleaned that. I had cleaned that and um, it was must have been dry on the inside. That's why it didn't come out good. But don't uh, put too much salt in it because then your uh, seasoned prank it might have a little salt. So I'm going to put some cayenne pepper on this too. And I always use that. I don't do nothing. Just give it a little kick. I put the... And I'm going to put this on both sides. I'm going to turn them over. That's the first thing I do. Okay, now. I'm going to mash this in real good. And turn them over. And these are so tender. When I cut them, they were so easy to cut. Just cut them over and repeat the process. Eat the process. Turn them over, and I'm gonna season all of these. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna let them rest. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna marinate mine. Most people don't, but I'm gonna marinate mine in a butter, lemon, and just a little uh, honey. And I'm gonna let them sit in there for a while. And I'm gonna uh, once they rest, I'm gonna let them rest for about 15 minutes. This is a, uh, they can almost break with my hand. These chicken gonna be tender. Don't cook them too long. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this other side the same way, and I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now, I let my uh, chicken set in there with the season, salt, the pepper, and the cayenne, the salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. I put that and let it season, for, let it rest for 15 minutes. Now I'm getting ready to make my sauce. And what I do is I just put some honey like I did before. I put a little honey in here. I'm going to put this much. Yeah, I'll put some honey in here. And then I'm going to put a little butter. And I'm going to put some lemon juice. That's all I need, those three ingredients. To make this up, because I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them, and I'm gonna put my tenders in here and let it mayonnaise, it. marinade, mayonnaise, a little bit. Put some lemon juice. Those are three ingredients I need, and I'm gonna coat these really good. I should have let my honey kind of melt it a little bit. So now I'm gonna put these in here. I'm gonna set them in this pan. A seasoned uh, chicken. I'm going to pour this sauce over I know y'all never had it like this, but I always try to cook a little different. Yep, so I'm going to put these in here. Inside this sauce, I'm going to stir this up good and just pour it over here and let it sit in here. And I'm going to take them out and dust them with some breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, pranko, and some uh, all-purpose flour. 
That'll be so good. Put a little bit more honey in here. Just you as gonna make a sauce for this. Oh, just a little butter. Let's make a little sauce. If you want to, you can put salt and pepper in there if you want to, but I'm not doing that because I think I have enough. Now my season my um uh, what I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pour this all over here and let it just set in here. Never y'all, I know you've never seen this folks. These are Maddie's Kitchen uh uh chicken tenders. Seasoned and gourmet. So I'm gonna take and stir this up, let it sit in here for a while until it's soak in it. Then I'm gonna make my bread. So good that look that looks so good. I know that looks like I can stew this. So when it's set for a while, another and then it's also tenderizing a little bit too. Butter, uh, honey, and lemon. Those are the only two ingredients I leave. Now this is ready. I'm gonna let this set a while, and then I'm gonna make my flour. I'm gonna also over here. I forgot. I'm, I'm I'm warming up my grease. This is my oil for my chicken, and this is oil for my french fries. All you want is enough oil to cover. It's already heated up, so I might cut it off until I get ready to do it because I don't know how hot it is, but, and I'll warm it back up. But right now, it's getting hot. This is for my chicken tenders, and this is for my french fries. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Most people, what I'm doing, y'all, y'all probably don't do, but I season my potatoes in my french fries. I put them in, I make sure they're dry. I got them on a strainer. that they leak, they'll leak on this towel. And I just take and put some salt and pepper on them, just turn them over and season them good. So I'm gonna have to do it after, especially when I'm cooking grease that I know I probably won't use no more, that's when I do it. Some salt, I just put my salt and I turn them over with this uh, tongue and I just do them like this, all of them, I season them good. Cause I like, uh, I know most of the time you go to a restaurant, you put salt and pepper on your uh, your french fries after they come out of your potato, but I season mine. And I make sure they're strained. You can only do this if they're strained. Put some more salt in here, and they'll be good to go. You don't have to worry about using salt when you just sit down and get you some ketchup or whatever you want. Put some pepper in here. Test my grease over there that's getting warm. What are y'all been doing out there? Y'all been doing fine. I'm coming up with some. I'm going to get ready for Thanksgiving. I think I got almost everything. I might cook some corn, some corn pudding. I might do that. Okay, I'm going to set these aside and get ready to put them in. I uh, just grease them. Let me see. I'm going to test them on them see how hot it is. That's about good. I'm going to cook my potatoes before I cook them. Uh, before I cook my other stuff. And be careful when you put them in there because you have to be careful. I'm going to put a few in at a time. You put them in there. I'll use this right here. Use your uh, the tongue because if they pop. And once most all the potatoes get in there, it's going to cool down. I don't care if my grease don't cover mine. Use that. And once it covers, you can put them in there. Once it covers the whole grease, it's not going to pop anymore. It's going to take these a little longer to cook than the uh, uh, chicken tenders because they already tender. I just put, uh, put all of these in here. Be careful. I'm going to try to do this. See, it had cooled off. I'm going to let the greases cover it. I'm going to let them cook. Now I'm getting ready to cook my... Uh, I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to get ready to cook my... Uh, cut this up some. And uh, I'm going to get ready with... Okay, my chicken tender set up in the butter. The lemon and the honey. I'm gonna take them out and so they can drain a little bit. And I'm gonna get ready to put them in my mix, my dusting mix. I'm not using the egg white with mine because they're already kind of wet. The egg wash, the egg and milk, or just plain egg. I'm not using that. You don't have to when you do them like this. They're wet. And make sure when you cook them, if you cook them like this, make sure that you um, let them drain a, a lot good. Now these are gonna be so good. You're gonna look at them. They're so different. You're gonna enjoy my french fries over there cooking. Now I'm getting my grease ready for that. Okay, how I make my breadcrumbs for my um, for my tenders, I just use some Pranko. I don't need no seasoning. I'm gonna just use some of these. This is seasoned. 
sprinkle and I'm gonna put some flour in here. My little grandbaby over there be talking. I be babysitting her. She be over there talking. I'm gonna put some flour in next. About half and half. Mix this together. And I'm gonna get ready to put my uh, tenders in there. And what I do, I double, I use another pan for this because I don't want to, um, what I don't want to is um, uh, use all my breadcrumbs and have to start back over. So I use, a, I use two pans, I put a smaller pan, shake them up. I tasted the breadcrumbs, I might put a little salt in it, it didn't taste like I wanted to taste. You don't have to, it's up your taste bud. I think I needed some I'm putting the pepper in here. And, because the breadcrumbs are seasoned, but I just didn't give me that kick I wanted when I taste it. So I'm gonna put these in here. The grease is getting hot over there. I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. And I'm gonna use this. Uh... Now what I do is I take and put me, I use two pans. And I take and use half of my uh, breadcrumbs and flour mix so I won't have, to, so I won't worry about running out. I put a little bit in here and shake those. And then I, uh, Put some in here and shake them good. Then you won't have to worry about running out because you'll still have more when it get wet. Put some in there and I'm gonna shake this really good. The top on and shake. This I do mine. I found out this is the best way. Take these up. So I look, that's better. And I still got all your flour. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try these cuts. Sometimes I didn't sit there and get them like I wanted to. So shake this again. Okay, and I'm getting ready. My French fries over there cooking, and I'm getting ready to put these in the cut this down a little bit. I'm getting ready to put test one. I'm gonna put them in the grease. You don't let them cook too long now. Put one in the grease right here. See, that's good enough. And let them cook about three minutes on each side. So you can have you some delicious. Don't let them touch. Try to not let them touch. Like I said, these are very tender. That's a big one right there. Spread them out good up. Boy, that kind of crunch. Shake them as much flour and, you know, breadcrumbs off that you can. So, because you don't want your... Uh, most of the time I use my grease only one time. I don't use it again. Cause it's seasoned, you know. It's seasoned and I don't use mine but one time. So it don't matter if I get crumbs in mine. But crumbs also burn your stuff too. So be careful with the crumbs. So I'm gonna repeat this process and uh, get back with you. This one look good to me. Okay, so I'm ready to come out. Like I said, these are chicken tenders crunchy with a little uh, breadcrumbs on so they're not going to be as smooth as the other ones. But I taste one, they are so good. My, my potatoes, they are fried potatoes, kind of french fry style, but they are fried. They are fried potatoes. Taking these out, these are cooked. They are so tender, honey. They are tender. Nothing right there. Okay, I'm going to turn these over. I put the others back to me. And on their back. These in there. Yeah, my potatoes are almost ready over there. These are the tenders of a um, tender strips I ever had. Here's the old fashioned finishing touch of my home fried potatoes and my chicken strip. 
I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It is so delicious, tastes very well. And if you like this, check out my other videos and please tune into Maddie's Kitchen and share my videos with friends and family. And thank you and have a great day.